Yesterday I drove by this shop and had to stop and take a picture. I'm always looking for things, or at least they jump out at me in the real world, that can't be natively modeled in Revit without some sort of hack or workaround. And so you can see this particular storefront has angled mullions. Um, and unfortunately, Revit can't do that. So here's the same relatively sized curtain wall element in Revit. And if we go to the south elevation and click on the curtain grid command, you'll see that you can only add vertical or horizontal grids. And up here on the ribbon, you can switch to just one segment so it would just fill this this one area or all of the areas except the one that you're selecting but alas there's no angled option where you could just draw at any angle so there is a workaround to get this to look correct but then it has some downsides that we'll talk about in a moment so I'm going to show you how to do it we're going to select this curtain wall Control C to copy it to the clipboard. And then we're going to paste it on top of itself. Paste a line to same place. And now I'm going to go into Edit Profile. And we'll draw the angle there to match what we want for the angled curtain wall. I'm going to trim up the perimeter, delete this extra line and then for my angled line I'm actually going to copy that to the clipboard before I hit finish. So we get a mullion at the perimeter of a curtain wall so I'm going to hit delete elements there's some extra pieces there that needed to go away and then for the other side I'm going to select the other copy or what it, whether this is the copy of the original or whatever there we go. So now I have the other one. You can see the, the four rectangular lines. And then I must have lost my... my line that I copied to the clipboard. And this is fine that it's not working great because it's going to highlight the fact that <laughs> it's not a great workflow. And it'd be great if we could do this natively. So for some reason that line's not copying through. So I'm just going to draw this and and it should be the edge here. Because the curtain wall mullions around the perimeter go from the, the perimeter in. They're not just automatically making the opening larger. And then I'll trim this. Delete the extra line and then hit finish and then you can see the other curtain wall is still there apparently seems like something weird happened with it so I'm going to select it and edit type it's set to automatically embed see if I cut it to the clipboard and paste it back in so that somehow fixed the problem and then we need to delete the extra mullion that showed up and there we have it it's still not perfect and I'm pretty sure you can't join this, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, you can't even select Mayans because they have their own join functionality. If you select one and click this little icon, it changes how they're joined. But anyways, that's pretty close and within Revit that's as close as you're going to get. And 
And then it looks like we can maybe make these lines invisible. Again, lots of putsy work. Far from ideal. Now, there's one last trick related to this. If we were to select this whole thing, which if we go into the filter here, we have a bunch of curtain wall stuff selected and the doors, and then it says two walls. Ultimately, we want the two walls. If we have those things selected and then create a group, Let's just say, I'm just making this up, frame 21, you have some sort of nomenclature. Then you could go to some sort of elevation view and paste this group. Uh, sometimes I don't want to get into the ideal workflows now on how to, how to place groups. But there are different ways in which you could place groups off to the side somewhere. Um, in fact, I will get into this just for a second then, I guess. So you'd want to make sure you had this in a different spot. And I'm going to add an elevation that's looking at this. And then I'm going to create a design option. And so we'll have a, a view on our sheet called frame types. And the primary option that will have nothing in it will be called empty. And then the other one will have the frame types in it. And I'll select this group and move it to the one called frame types. And so it looks like it disappeared. And then if this were our, our frame type drawing, it would be cropped in to where all the frame types are, you know, preferably way off to the side somewhere. And then in this view and in this view only, we would go in and tell this view to show the secondary design option frame types. So the great thing about this is that that geometry is off by default for everyone in every model. What that means is that the only way that stuff shows up is if you enable the secondary design option. And right now in this project, we only have it done in one view. That Geometry doesn't show up in schedules, so it doesn't need to be filtered. It's not going to show up in your MEP models. And that, by contrast to the last ideal way of doing it, by using uh, future or prehistoric phasing or controlling visibility with work sets, all that stuff has a potential of just randomly showing up somewhere in your model and somebody else's model. So that's a quick look at how we can sort of do a hack to get angled mullions. This is still two separate curtain walls. Um, we could put a, a label under it on this view and call it frame type 21 or whatever. Um, and then we could tag this as group 21, I guess. And, and so it's getting close to being workable, but still far from ideal. So please share in the comments any additional ideas or related tips and tricks you have. Thanks for watching.